A Frisco husband and father received the kind of diagnosis nobody wants to hear. He has cancer and it's terminal. The entire family knows it. Worried he may not be around until Christmas. His family decided to have it early. Taking it a step further, they issued an online challenge, one that was met by supporters around the world. Fox News Alex Boyer shares their story live from Frisco tonight. Alex. Well, Stephen Heather, if you take a stroll through this Frisco neighborhood, you'll see plenty of front doors decorated just like this one. You see the man who lives inside this home with his family, as you mentioned, diagnosed with cancer. Doctors say he only has months to live, so his family and neighbors are helping him celebrate his favorite holiday a little early. Make sure it's on there good and tight so it doesn't fall. For the Odom family, good job, Colin. Christmas this year can't come soon enough. He's my best friend. I don't want to let him go. In April, Becky's husband David started having severe digestive problems. Something simply wasn't wasn't right. A CT scan and biopsy revealed the 47-year-old husband and father of four had cancer of the appendix. The tumors had spread, and doctors told David he had just months to live. There's a short time left. We are not wasting a moment. When we were talking about what he would like to do before he passes, that he said he wanted to have one more holiday with his kids. Right no, next to the miniature first. Turned out. So Becky got out the Christmas decorations and took to Facebook, sharing David's diagnosis and asking family and friends to hang up their Christmas wreaths early, posting pictures to share online. Maybe uh, sparking some semblance of spirituality that's been dormant inside them. So if our story can touch people, that would be fantastic. The response was overwhelming. When we drive through the neighborhood and see all the support in the wreaths, it, it is uplifting. It was, let's get upstairs, dig out the, the wreaths, and we'll put one on the door, and we'll make a little sign, take some pictures, and, and join in with the post because, I mean, heck, if I didn't have a two-story house, I'd put the lights up. Steve Kerr is just one of nearly 200 people who have answered Becky's online challenge. Pictures continue to pour in from around the world, one from as far as Australia. This has been absolutely fabulous because it's brought everyone together in ways we couldn't have really envisioned. The Odoms plan to celebrate Christmas on September 6, David's 48th birthday. This outpouring of support, he says, is the best gift he could ask for. If God graces us with Christmas in December, then we'll have had two Christmases. We're just not willing to take that risk. And Becky uh, shared with us that she lost her first husband to cancer too. Becky says that their strong faith in God and family support and the online support is helping all of them get through this difficult time. If you feel you'd like to post a wreath outside of your home, the Odom family asks that you take a picture and share it with them. I've included a link to their Facebook page. Just log on to our website, fox4news.com, and search for our story. Back to you. Alex, thank you. Really sad, horrible story, but also uplifting. And we, th we thanks for them sharing it with us. Thank you.